Welcome to Gate City Chronicles. I'm Kevin Abard, your host, and I'm here with Dana Belandre. Yes. Did I do that right? Oh, close. <laughs> how, how do you say your last name? Belandre. Belandre. Oh, I was close. So welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, now, you are with uh, one of the founders of Her Place. Yes. And so I know we had you back on maybe about a year ago or six months ago. Eh, about nine months ago, about I think. About nine months ago. And uh, so talk to me about Her Place. What's going on? Well, um, like I told you the last show, we're actually a women's organization. Uh, we are, we're looking to bring women together in a Rotarian type um, atmosphere where they can pool resources and encourage and empower one another. Uh, to become powerful contributors to society. We are multifaceted. We have a, a lot of different aspects to our organization. Um, our media membership outreach is actually our sharing in society aspect, which is our uh, member base. And then we have a benevolent aspect, which is called Glimpses, which is a nine-month resource program to help women reestablish themselves um, after acute and critical hardships, uh, such as job loss, uh, spousal death, uh, sickness, divorce, um, homelessness, and then we have another aspect of our organization that is not gender geared and that is called Create Fam, and that stands for Creating Resources, Education, and Awareness mm -hmm. through Entertainment, Fun, Arts, and Music, and that's where we encompass, um, you know, volunteers and students and interns and, you know, like-minded uh, supporters of our organization. So, uh, when, when women fall on hard times, you know, they're all ages uh, we are we are uh, we're actually we've been 18 plus we have a closed discussion group that we've had since uh, about March or April 2011 uh, where we've been bringing women in uh, from around the world as part of it in a closed forum discussion where they can talk about whatever's going on uh, in a non-judgmental environment um, we may have our actual benevolent aspect be 21 plus we're still working out some of the details of that aspect. What seems to be, do you find trends as far as needs in, in, in are, are people more homeless or are there more divorces or are there, is it, is it equal amount? What, what seems to be the topic of discussion? It's, it's interesting that you say that people from around the world come in and they talk about certain things. To, to, what, what, are, what are the main topics that they, they talk about? Well, we talk about a lot of different um, things. It's more about, I mean, one of the things we say a lot is real women dealing with real life in real ways. So it's really whatever we're going through, whatever someone's going through at the time. Mm -hmm. um, we don't give advice. We're just an open forum where, you know, you can share from your personal experiences uh, if you've been through something similar. Um, but it really is about a non-judgmental place to just kind of air your head. Um, I would say when I was starting, when we first started reaching out to women, when I first started reaching out to women, one of the things we found a lot is that there was a lot of women that were homeless, mm. uh, educated, intelligent, uh, powerful women that were dealing with some upheavals in that regard. Um, but there's a lot of different aspects. Um, we don't say what's said in her place because, you know, that's the rule. What's sure. said in her place stays there. Um, but, you know, there's issues that women have find resurfacing in their lives that become obstacles. Uh, manifesting in different ways. Um, sometimes we're dealing with um, childhood abuse. Sometimes we're dealing with, you know, divorce. Sometimes we're dealing with job loss. Um, one person's tragedy, you know, can't really compare to another person. So the worst thing you've ever been through is the worst thing you've ever been through. Right, so. and you're you're dealing with it on your own. And uh, you, this is a place for somebody to, hey, am I all alone here? This is a place to, to talk. It is. I mean, and it's up, I mean, we're not all dull and dreary and drama. I mean, it, it's right. funny, and we have a lot of talent. You know, when I started reaching out to women, I um, looked for those women that were creative, um, you know, artists, musicians, authors, um, I because I felt the creative women actually would feel their environment a little bit more deeply and were more expressive. And so I kind of looked for that level um, but we have women from all walks of life in our organization. Um, this is a non-political organization, right? Oh, yes. We're non-political. We're not religious. Um, we don't have any, you know, there's no following. I mean, like I said, it's just women that have come together in the closed discussion group. And that's really what we're looking to mirror with the organization as we branch out now into the real world, you know, because mm -hmm. we're Internet-based with that. But um, obviously, we're looking to create our organization to be, to reach people locally and to be able to have member events face-to-face -face and have a lot more in society. Right. 
So now you're a nonprofit. We are a nonprofit. We are actually, uh, we're considered a nonprofit and a legal entity in the state of New Hampshire. Uh, we've actually filed for our 501C, which is the um, IRS tax standing, and we are considered um, in application status with that. So tell me about the, your, your benefits that you, uh, you plan on doing, uh, we, uh, or your, your, uh, your reaching out to the communities and, and, and doing it, what, concerts? Do you... We're going to do um, a lot of different um, things with our outreach programs. One of the things that we're going to do to start off is we're going to hold poetry nights. Um, we're going to, our first one, we're looking to have this poetry night in uh, June where we have comedians and musicians as well. Uh, we're reaching out to local venues to host those events. Uh, we have our standard event which is our uh, media outreach really which is um, sharing in society and I believe I spoke about it the last time we were here because we were getting ready to have it. Right. Um, our first one and that is going to be our standard event where we actually go and we speak about you know women uh, current issues women are facing. It's called State of Our Women. Where is that held? Um, we're going to hold that in different cities throughout New England. So we held our first one in Manchester. Um, I'm not really sure where we're going to be holding our next one. I've kind of been a little bit behind on the events with getting more of the logistics done, but that will be a uh, standard event that we're going to have. Now, one of the things that we were talking a little bit about is an office space that, that you're looking for. If, if somebody has some extra office space that maybe that they can donate to the... the... Yes, we're actually looking to have a, a little office space donated to us in Nashua if possible. So we can, right now, we utilize our attorney's uh, boardroom. They've been very generous with their help. And, um, you know, we have members that are in Nashua, but we're actually looking for a place where we can go and keep everything while we get up and running. Can businesses donate to your organization as sponsor? Oh, absolutely. We can accept contributions. Um, we are registered with the Charitable Trust Unit in the state of New Hampshire, mm -hmm. um, but we can't, we're not, we can't guarantee that they're going to have their tax credit for them, right. though it is retroactive from the date that we filed once we, do, once we are approved, and we're pretty confident that we're going to be approved for it. So. All right. And, and uh, like, oh, so membership is from 18 above to 100. Yes. Our glimpses aspect, like I said, I believe it's going to be um, 21 plus. But the membership, as far as that goes, is 18 plus. All right. Now, you're going to be having your own TV show. Yes, we are. And yeah. that'll be here on Local Access. Yes, it will. We're yeah. actually going to have it here. It's also going to be seen on PEG Media and the NHCCM, I believe it's called. Right. So we're going to actually be able to um, have that reach uh, a lot of people you know, throughout the nation, and then we're also going to turn it into a podcast. So what will you talk about on TV? I mean, because guys can watch that. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, actually, you know, we're not, we have, you know, we're focused on women with our primary, our glimpses and our sharing in society, which is CIS, which, you know, is our media membership outreach. But Create Fam isn't gender geared. So um, and we're going to really encompass all aspects of our organization into the TV show. I'm very excited about it. Uh, we're right in the middle of forming our media committee. Uh, we already have our outline of what we're going to do. But we're going to feature every aspect of our organization through that. So we'll have our... Uh, empowered women segment with an interview segment. We're going to have our musicians and artists and our kids segment with the Create Fam. And then we're going to feature nonprofits um, at the end of every show, so which is our glimpses aspects. Now you said New England in, in one of your statements. So you're not just New Hampshire. You're, you're New Ham this is going to be Nashville will be your base, but you'll reach out to all of New England? Is yes. Well, what we're looking to do is we're creating it first here in New England. What we're doing is we're creating our reputable process. Okay. So once we're established in New England, you know, with Nashua being the base, then we're going to look to bring it actually throughout the nation. We actually have people all over the world that are watching us right now, so it's pretty exciting. Are they watching Gate City Chronicles? Um, they have seen the last <laughs> interview. Uh, it, it's, it's the very first month we actually had our website up. We had over 22,000 hits. So um, I did all my own PR work through um, mm. Facebook. So I ended up meeting people around the world, and they've been tuning in. Because what we're creating here, they feel like it is a needed resource where they're at. So. Well, that's interesting. It is right. interesting. Now, you have a, a website, I assume. Yes, we do. OK. What is It's www.her-place.org. OK. And, and that's our temporary site. We're actually in the process of utilizing our Create Fam interns and students to actually develop a, a site that's going to be able to um, be able to, uh, well, I don't even know the word, be able to encompass all of our programs that we're doing. You know, because we're going to have our podca uh, podcast off of that. Right. We're also going to have our database. Uh, we're going to have member benefits. So you have gurus working for you. 
little techies. Yes. Yeah. Well, I have, right, I have, we're, we're reaching out to colleges, students, interns, volunteers. Uh, we have an advisory panel right now of people that are helping us and kind of guiding us in the area. I would areas. think this would be big on campus or, you know, in the, in the colleges around the state. It would seem to me this would be ideal. Uh, have you reached out to a lot of colleges? Or? We have started to. Um, we've worked with a couple of local colleges right now. Um, as I said, there's a lot that's going into it. So, you know, we've been able to grab some students in that aspect. Um, I do find that it is the, you know, 18 to 21 year old um, college students, female college students, that are really interested in what we're creating and they seem to want to really be involved with it. So I think as we grow, I think that that is going to be a big venue for us. Well, now, I'm a guy, so do you think they're going to have a, his place too? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to develop that too, right? Yeah, well, isn't that the U.S. government? <laughs> oh, uh oh <laughs> I don't know. I, anyway, I, I figured I'd ask, right? So is there anything else you want our viewers to know about uh, her place? Uh, you, you got a local show coming on here, the Channel 96 of the... Uh, it'll be broadcast. Uh, people have got your website. Um, you're growing. People are interested. We are growing. Um, really, we want to really focus on our glimpses program, and that's the really that's the crux of our program because it's really helping these women that are finding they're frustrated that they're not getting the resources that they need through our current systems. Mm. Um, I mean, we're in a time now that things have changed so much. You know, where um, the resources that are available aren't necessarily meeting the needs of women in my age frame, you know, my age bracket in their 40s, um, you know, that don't want to go on welfare, or don't want to be on state-assisted programs, but have a game plan of where they want to go. And that's really what our program is. It's a nine-month resource program to help women get in the direction where they want to go without being dictated with their choices. Right. So that is our main focus. Uh, at the moment, that's one of the main things that we're working on is getting that up and running. So we're hoping by the third quarter we can actually start implementing that program and we're mm. having our attorneys look over our paperwork and you know, we're gathering our teams and our committees together. Good. Thank you. Well, welcome in to the show and welcome to local access, this is a great opportunity for you to at least get the message out. I know uh, local access is one of the best ways for people, starting out with very little to get their, their message out. It, it's perfect. Uh, this is a great asset to the community, and what you're doing obviously is as well. But uh, you, I'll, I'll be looking forward to your show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Well, if you're interested in Her Place, again, what's the website? Uh, www her-place.org. Give her a call. And uh, thank you for watching Gate City Chronicles. We hope these shows help and inform you about what's going on here in Nashville. Until next week.